Hello everyone, and yes, Magnus Carlsen has released a statement regarding the last few weeks. So before we uh, do anything else, and there is a, a, a nice game that we are going to check out, let's check out this statement Magnus posted yesterday on Twitter. Uh, so here it is, Magnus Carlsen himself saying my statement regarding the last few weeks, and then he used uh, uh, an image to, to upload those letters as uh, it would be too many characters for Twitter. So here, dear chess world, at the 2022 Singfield Cup, I made a an unprecedented professional decision to withdraw uh, from the tournament after my round three game against Hans Niemann. A week later during the Champions Chess Tour, I resigned against Hans Niemann after playing only one move. So uh, that obviously you guys know as this um, chess drama has, uh, has you know, uh, uh, gotten absolutely everywhere. There's just no, no, no hiding. Even if you're not interested in chess whatsoever, you have heard about this. So I know that my actions have frustrated many in the chess community. I'm frustrated. I want to play chess I want to continue to play chess at the highest level in the best events I believe that cheating in chess is a big deal and an existential threat to the game I also believe that chess organizers and all those who care about the sanctity of the game uh, we love uh, should seriously consider increasing security measures and the methods of cheat detection for over the board chess when Neiman was invited last minute to the 2022 Singfeld Cup I strongly considered withdrawing from the uh, withdrawing prior to the event I ultimately chose the play. Uh, something that you might have also heard that uh, yeah, uh, when um, uh, Yanni Pomnici heard that uh, Hans Niemann was uh, uh, will be a substitute for Richard Rapport, who was, who, who was supposed to be playing in the Singfeld Cup, he contacted the organizers and said that they should increase security uh, due to Hans playing as, uh, well, no, obviously Nepo knew something that the rest of us were not aware of. And then uh, he says, I believe that Niemann has cheated more and more recently than he has publicly admitted. His over-the-board progress has been unusual and throughout our game in the Singfield Cup, I had the impression that he wasn't um, tense or even fully concentrating on the game in critical positions. While outplaying me as black, in a way I think only a handful of players can do. This game contributed to changing my perspective. Now, that's something that's... Um, okay, you really have to trust uh, Magnus's opinion on this one because, uh, I mean, how, how would we react if someone, if someone really, really strong just comes along and starts uh, de destroying everyone? Like... Uh, Magnus did when he came uh, and you know just started trashing people around uh, when when Bobby Fischer came where when you know any uh, greatest chess player whoever lived uh, you know uh, if uh, now in the modern uh, in the era of modern engines uh, how are we to say if he's actually good or obviously he's using uh, external assistance uh, as no one can defeat uh, uh, a world champion like that and especially uh, like Magnus says here not uh, not be interested in the game uh, where there's a lot to calculate and where the position is really intense uh, I believe of course uh, anything is possible uh, but yeah I mean uh, Magnus does have the experience he he, he would know uh, but again that's that that's no evidence uh, we must do something about cheating and for my part going forward I don't want to play against people that have cheated repeatedly in the past because I don't know what they are capable of doing in the future so Magnus Magnus here is saying that uh, although they do not have any evidence regarding the uh, scandal that occurred in St. Louis, uh, n n none of this was um, uh, go going to be about that, obviously. Everyone was thinking like there's going to be some sort of a smoking gun, but uh, yeah, obviously it's um, uh, tailored towards uh, uh, Hans being maybe invited to future events or, you know, other people boycotting playing against Hans or, uh, or you know. Uh, so, so, something in that direction as uh, of course I, I I doubt that we will ever know uh, what actually happened in that game uh, that, that, that Magnus lost in, in classical chess so there is more that I would like to say unfortunately at this time I'm limited in what I can say without explicit uh, permission from Niemann to speak openly so far I have only been able to speak with my actions and those actions have stated clearly that I'm not willing to play chess with Niemann I hope that the truth of this matter comes out uh, uh, whatever it may be since Sincerely, Magnus Carlsen, world chess champion. So uh, uh, that's something that I believe that will continue. If um, uh, and like uh, like I said on Twitter, uh, if uh, or if an organizer has an opportunity to invite Magnus and to invite Neiman, and Magnus says, "All right, I'm not going to play if you invite Neiman," then unfortunately, I believe that Neiman will not be invited simply because uh, the tournament organizer wants the most coverage that they can get, and, and I mean, uh, having Magnus in a tournament will yield the most coverage. 
recover it. So if that will be the case, it will be very hard to, uh, for Niemann to, to get into uh, invitational tournaments. And the invitationals are the absolute uh, the top uh, level tournaments where you can gain uh, the most ELO, where all the elites are playing. So that's the, uh, the statement Magnus gave regarding his last few weeks. Uh, not a lot about the event that everyone was actually interested in and that everyone was fuming about. Um, w w was there any actual cheating involved in the uh, in the classical game that Magnus lost? Uh, but rather, I believe that it's um, well. well. Uh, the, the actions and everything is mostly tailored to how everyone will treat Hans in, in future events. And I'm very interested to see how Hans will deal with this as, uh, I mean, the, 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 there's just no no good way of dealing with this. If uh, Imagine if he didn't do anything wrong, if he's just that strong, then okay, everyone's just, uh, you know, um, uh, unjustly accusing him. And uh, even though it's, it, okay, uh, you could say, okay, this is suspicious. We have this evidence. We have this evidence. We have this evidence. None of that is actually evidence. If any of that was ev evidence, then we would not be having any discussion. So it, it, that cannot be considered evidence. But yeah, it will be... It will be very interesting. I'm, as usual, of course, very interested uh, to hear what you guys think and, uh, you know, what, what would you do? Because everyone in this, uh, you know, in situations like these, everyone will act according to their past experiences. And uh, uh, basically that has uh, nothing to do with, with the actual situation here. It's just, uh, you know, uh, how, how you view the world and how you uh, think the, the, the world around you should, should revolve. But... Um, yeah, I mean, uh, uh, th this is the internet. We are here for for the opinions, and everyone has an opinion. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's the info regarding the Magnus uh, tweak. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. And now I would like to show you one game, and I tried to, uh, you know, I tried to make it a, as fast game as possible. So this is a blitz game from the Lindoris Abbey Tal Memorial last year, where uh, Niemann has the black pieces against a very strong Russian Grandmaster Pavel Ponkratov, uh, who was, I believe, rated some 2650 at the time. So very, very strong Russian Grandmaster. Master. Uh, and uh, let's just see how the game went as it features a very cool opening, the, the Great Snake opening. So here we have c4, Pavel opens with the English opening, we have g6, knight to c3, and now bishop to g7. Uh, the great snake variation we have h for now immediately going after that uh, g6 pawn and now uh, there is one game in the database where h6 was played but here hans plays knight to f6 and now already as of move three uh, we have a completely new game so e4 we have e5 we have bishop to e2 and now pawn to h5 so a very very weird setup here knight to f3 knight to c6 and now pawn to d4 and okay just striking in the center nothing odd here e captures and and now knight captures on d4. Okay, Hans says I will grab that pawn. So knight captures on e4, knight captures on e4, and now bishop captures on d4. We have bishop to g5 attacking Hans's queen. Uh, pawn to f6 only move, and now bishop to f4. And here we have pawn to d6 by Hans. We have castles, castles, uh, and now bishop to d3. Putting pressure on that g6 pawn, so of course Hans immediately reacts to this. And now uh, you could consider a lot of moves here like uh, maybe the safest option would be some like knight g3 you attack the bishop force a trade of bishops and once the queen attacks the g6 pawn you play king g7 and then white plays whatever and the game continues with black maybe being slightly better but in the game uh, pavel decided as this was a blitz game you have to uh, play very fast he decided to play knight captures on d6 and the idea is clear he wants to capture on f5 and then bust open the position with uh, queen captures on h5 and there are ways to deal with this hans plays c captures on d6 even though there is the very clear refutation of just playing bishop captures queen captures and now king g7 and the knight is trapped the knight cannot move if you move the knight uh, of course uh, there's the queen queen action here and then let's say you move the knight f5 knight moves just bishop captures on f2 check and the queen uh, will pick up the queen so instead hans decides to play c captures on d6 and okay now bishop captures on f5 uh, pavel gets what he wanted g captures queen captures on h5 and now Hans has to defend this, uh, and it's not easy to attack. You would have to first get a rook into the game. If you, if you can play something like rook d1, rook d3, rook g3, you are probably winning. Or if the bishop moves, then you play something like f4, maybe rook f3, rook to g3, 
uh, uh, of course, you, you would be very happy. But that's a lot of moves. Hans plays queen to d7. We have rook a to d1, preparing the plan. And now bishop to e5, uh, offering a trade of bishops. And now Pavel plays bishop to h6. And this is, uh, again, not the most precise way to play, as now Hans just plays queen to h7. Uh, he uh, traps the bishop. And of course, if the bishop moves, then the queen is trapped. And uh, a bishop to f4 is coming, so you will not be uh, able to save this bishop. So what can you play here? You, of course, you could play something like g3 to stop bishop f4, but then king h8. The rook is coming to g8. So after king h2, let's say rook to g8, f4. Uh, what do you play here? Uh, it would be a fun position, but after bishop d4, white uh, white really does not have a, a move here. It's not uh, going to help him. Rook g6 is coming, and then the bishop will fall either way. So instead, after queen h7, b4 was played. Uh, here, uh, Pavel finds a very nice move. And uh, I mean, of course, you have to look at b4 when, when, when you're uh, find, looking for a nice move. Uh, b5 is the threat. And now, if uh, the, the knight can be dislodged from c6, then you will get access to this d4 square, because he really wants to play f4 and now a bishop d4 check will be deadly as the knight covers the d4 square so he wants to get rid of the knight's control over the d4 square g um, uh, sorry after v4 we have bishop to f4 going after uh, the the bishop here and now pawn to b5 but now knight to e5 and rook captures on d6 there's no more uh, way of saving the bishop queen captures on h6 we have queen captures on f5 and now uh, hans is up material and uh, well well, his king is wide in the open, but he finds a very, very clean win. He just plays knight to f3 with check. And he was in this position on move 22 that Pavel Pongratov resigned the game as there is nothing more to be done here. Uh, point is that if the knight is accepted, then just a king to h8 and there's no defense against rook to g8. Also, the, the rook is still, still hanging. You have no time to deal with all of this. You have to make some room for your king, but then you just go on a nice king. Had rook g8, king to f1, bishop captures on d6, let's say rook captures queen to c1 with check, king e2, queen captures c4, check. And if queen d3, now the rooks come into play, rook to a8, check, of course, king d2, queen b4, check, and whatever you play, uh, a nice rook to c8 check king d1 and now rook to g1 and you get checkmated king to e2 and now rook or queen to e1 will be checkmate and on the other hand after knight to f3 check if you don't accept the knight if you play king to h1 doesn't really matter just queen to h4 check queen to h3 and now queen captures pawn captures and only now you pick up the rook and now you are up a full knight bishop and rook so of course completely winning uh, so yeah, very nice game with Black by Hans against the 2650 Grandmaster in the Tal Memorial of 2021. Uh, I believe the tournament was won by Marty Rossi and in the end, uh, Neiman uh, uh, en ended up in 10th place. So it was a it was a good result, but not maybe the the, the best as as uh, you know everyone is expecting Neiman to, to just crush everyone nowadays. Uh, but yeah, that's the game. Hope you guys enjoyed it and the uh, the uh, public announcement Magnus made regarding the last few weeks. Uh, it's not what the chess world uh, was was hoping for or even expecting, but it is it is what it is. So what do you make of it? Do share in the comments. I'm very very interested in, in reading them as usual. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's the game and the statement. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed that. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Anshuman Shukla, Henry Spragans, Mr. Robert De Crayon, uh, Saura Medirata, and Michael uh, Ovens for contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. As usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you soon, continuing to check up on your wonderful suggestions and whatever else happens in the chess world. Uh, so thank you all. I will see you soon, and have an excellent rest of your day.